Allez les blés, allez One of the craziest experiences in my life. When Suarez scored the second goal, complete riot. Can't tell you guys how I'm feeling right now. The crowd, the amount of people that are now outside of the stadium. I don't want to burst your bubble or anything, but it hasn't always been this easy for me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the first couple of weeks were pretty rough. I stayed in hostels uh, for a couple of weeks, not one, not two, but three different hostels in Madrid. I was looking for an apartment um, regularly on a daily basis. I can't wait to be settled in my apartment so I can change my clothes. It's pretty hot. One of the most <laughs> things just happened to me right now. The apartment I was supposed to rent, the least safe areas in the city of Madrid. Told the, the landlord about how I felt. He became all aggressive. All right, so right now I'm trying to book another uh, apartment. I just went to City Life. So I got the SIM card, bus pass, have to walk another 40 minutes to get there. That the apartment would roughly cost me 625 euros per month. Consorcio Transportes de Madrid. So that's where I get my uh, bus and metro pass. I went to this agency a girl told me to go to. And they told me that they can't help me because I have to rent it at least for six months. So it's four months, I'm keeping it. Therefore, they cannot help me. I was trying to solve issues that were related to my course selections and to my school schedule. This is my first day of school. I am already at least 10 to 15 minutes late. Great, I took the wrong train too. I made it an hour and 15 minutes late. Obviously, I missed class. Day six in Madrid, still looking for an apartment, still got nothing. All right, so this morning I had mandatory attendance. I'm about an hour late. So I got to class at 10 a.m. It was supposed to end at 10.30, and the class was empty. Day number eight, my third hostel, still no apartment, and uh, depression. I think what I'm trying to let you guys know here is that Going on student exchange is fun. It's definitely the experience of a lifetime, but there's also responsibilities and difficulties and cons to being on a student exchange. Having to live up to certain responsibilities that you didn't have to live up to when you were back home with your parents and so on and so forth. And you're gonna have to uh, go through these hardships sometimes on your own. I think what I'm trying to say is, going on student exchange is really a breathtaking experience. It's definitely fulfilling. It has its upsides. Um, the freedom of traveling, the freedom of being on your own, doing whatever you want, whatever you want it. But there's also a downside, and that's something some people forget, and that's something you should definitely keep in mind if you're ever thinking about going on student exchange, about traveling a couple of months. There are many rules you're gonna have to abide by, and there are a lot of responsibilities you have to take in. Be prepared, because it's definitely going to be one of the biggest experiences in your life for all of its goods and all of its bads. Simon. Yes. Where are we going? Food. In Madrid. And I don't know what type of food, but food nonetheless. Food nonetheless. Food nonetheless. Food nonetheless. It's a rooftop restaurant. We're currently starving. Can I Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, that was rough. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We all know this song, we all know it. We all know it. Why don't I know it? French, innit? Wow, this car is amazing, dude. Oh, it's okay. Pretend, pretend this is your YouTube channel now. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Do your thing, brother. I'm this is you. a lot of pressure on me, innit? <laughs> I've, I've mastered this. Excuse you. J'attends encore ma bouffe. C'est très beau, c'est un beau petit restaurant. Me and my friend Will, we're going to the museum today. This worked. Wow, look at that. We got a free ticket. Currently inside Museo El Prado, I'm witnessing some fine work of art. One thing that I really struggled with uh, and made me even more homesick 
is the fact that I met people in hostels that I really appreciated, that I spent a lot of time with, and only a few days later, I had to say goodbye to them. And it's like a continuous circle of making new friends and saying goodbye to them. I knew I would say goodbye to friends, but I only thought I would do it once or twice at the end of my semester, at the end of my exchange. I feel so relieved. Finally booked an apartment, looks amazing. It's really a lot more than I had expected. And now I can actually start planning my trips. Oh, hey guys, welcome to my first unboxing video. As you will see in the next couple of clips, I will be unboxing a product that I just got as a delivery. Some of you will be completely confused as to why I have purchased this product. So I'll unbox it first and then I'll get back to you. Simon says like and subscribe. <laughs> that, was, that was probably the best promotion I've ever done in my life. <laughs> 